Thomas, over here. This might not have been a good idea. Squatters and addicts have moved in, and they don't like company. Come this way. I have something to show you. I used my security clearance to do a little checking up on you. I found this folder in your supplemental personnel file. During your last physical, they found several abnormalities. For starters, your bone and muscle densities are off the chart. You have a reputation for being tough, but who knew? You also have a hyperactive serotonergic system in the brain. What that means, I have no idea. And lastly, there's a chest x-ray that's been redacted. Redacted? Yeah, right where your esophagus and larynx are. Someone's blacked out the x-ray and added the notation, see subjects PR-56. A PR-56 is a special addendum to a personnel record, and yours is classified black. That's pretty top-level security, way beyond either you or me. Our government is awfully interested in you. I didn't know. Well, now you do. Maybe I shouldn't have told you, but there it is. Oh, and I also left something there on the counter for you. Popular modification to the standard taser. Jeez, Thomas, you okay? You looked like you were about to faint there. Come on, let's get this over with. Scavengers looking for parts to sell, or just maniacs destroying things. We have to find a terminal that isn't damaged. Hello. Looks like someone left the master key in the lock. You search this office. I'll take that one over there. Look for a computer that's in working order. I told you we weren't alone. Come on, I found a working computer. It's a search engine specific to the library. Just type in the torturer's name, and we should get the latest info from the local news, including broadcast feeds. Damn it. Can anything else go wrong? We'll have to find the server room and get the network back. Rosa! Rosa! Are you there? Rosa, I'm out of the lab at present, but we'll return shortly. 
In an emergency, please use my authorized bureau cell number. Physical evidence received and stored. Rosa. I'm out of the lab at present, but will return shortly. In an emergency, please use my authorized bureau cell number. Physical evidence received and stored.
Back off, you bastard. Come any closer and I'll rip your head off. Rosa, it's me, Thomas. Oh. Oh, he, he must have clobbered me in the back of the head before taking off. Are you okay? There, there were these, these shadowy things standing over you. What? Look, while you're chasing shadows, that jerk tried to kill me. I bit him good, though, right on the hand. Did you get any of the blood sampled? I saw some hit the floor. Yes, sampled and transferred back to the lab. Excellent. I can patch in through this computer and do a remote analysis. Bingo. DNA from the sample matches DNA taken from the metro station hideout. This is the guy. This is our serial killer X. He killed the policeman, and he's been killing all of the other guys on your case list. What did he want with you? He wanted to know what we knew about the torturer. He made me look it up on the net. He knows the whole MO now. The abduction, torture, suicide thing. Thomas, the torturer is on your case list, and he's the only one whose trail hasn't gone cold since we ran into this serial killer X. X wants the torturer to die. He's hunting him down. Take a look at this. This is Jennifer Alden, reporting from police headquarters. Developments in the case of the torturer serial killer. A retired gym teacher from the city's juvenile rehabilitation program has informed police of contact he had almost eight years ago with a troubled youth named Carl Anderson, who reported fantasies that match the torturer's methods exactly. Authorities are now asking the public to inform police if they know of Carl Anderson's whereabouts. Do not approach the suspect, as he should be considered armed and dangerous. Sources within the police department are telling me they are also concerned because their informant can no longer be located. Department spokespersons have refused comment on this latest development. This is Jennifer Alban, reporting for News Channel 5. Carl Anderson. Hmm. A gym teacher tells the cops on you, and now the teacher can't be found. Okay, Rosa, we have to find the school where this teacher worked. School and city district records are in the basement. Follow me. Hopefully this key will get us where we need to go. that? Sounds like an animal is crawling around up there. Looks like this is where the library suffered the most fire damage. Okay. There should be a stairwell that leads down to the microfiche room.
Yeah. Yeah. Busted my flashlight, though. Stay put. I thought I saw something down there in the dark. I'll be there in a minute. It's me. Snap out of it. Here, take my flashlight. Make your way around to the doors on the other side. I'll let you in there. Don't take too long. Standing in the dark without my flashlight makes me nervous. Convenient. Okay, jump down and see if you can find your way back to the stairs. I'll go back this way.
Jesus, Thomas, it took you long enough. Jesus, this is getting out of hand. We need to get this microfiche in front. You mind taking the lead through this area? Eight years ago would put the kid and the teacher at the same school in 1997. Here it is. Anderson Carl. There's a lot of Carl Andersons, but I bet this is our guy. He was enrolled or sentenced to an educational rehabilitation center for the severely troubled. St. Joseph's Secondary on Northeast 52nd and Fremont. It's been closed for five years, and no wonder. That's one of the worst parts of town. Christ, the cops have just been letting it go to hell for years. And what about the faculty? It doesn't list occupations, just a list of names. I'll take it back to the lab and see what I can find. It's him. He's been listening to us. It looks like we've attracted other unwanted attention. for it. What about our serial killer X? He's got the same information we do, so that means he's also gonna go to the school. Perhaps I can catch two killers with one net. I'll drive you there, then head back to HQ and work on that faculty list. 